Most of you solo queue or duo queue and don't get the chance to play with the stack, so you can communicate, do some strats, and win rank games constantly. What I know from experience is that people complain about their teammates, or the map, or how hard is it to solo queue, and that's the reason why they are stuck in one rank, and can't reach the ranks they think they deserve. Well, how is it possible that so many content creators solo queue from copper to diamond and champ? Are they cheating, or they are tricking you with some editing skills? No, you're just not good enough. There are certain things you need to do in your games to maximize your chance of winning, and that's what I'm going to tell you today. Number 1. In every map you play, you have to take map control or contest it. That's something you're not doing in your games and that can be one of the biggest mistakes you're making in Siege. On defense you have to put more pressure on your enemies and waste time, make them uncomfortable. Shoot their drones, utilities, any way you can waste time. Like this run that all of us are holding top 4 when the site is ready. Or this one on Chalet, I'm on boosters and Oliva is in library. That means they can't push into site to plant or play on the windows cause we have blue and top fireplace control. Do you fire place there? In half hole. In planting, 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 planting. Nice, dead. What the fuck? Yeah. One more. Nice Tina. Now look what happens when you don't contest. Bakery is free and I take it. No one is putting pressure on us so I can just easily come close to small bakery and pick to collect the free kills as well. On coastline we have control of penthouse, VIP, theater and also luggage and aqua in 1 minute 30. I know what you're thinking, but in my games no one does that. Well I don't care, do it alone. Just get into map as an attacker and hold it as a defender. I save my drone, I get in, drone again and push. On defense I get off side and hold where they can rush and take. I shoot some drones and fall back to side. What's the next thing you have to do in your solo key games? On attack have more intel and on defense deny it. In siege the more info you have the higher your chance of winning is. Most of you lose your drone on attack and then you have a hard time attacking and taking map control which is the first thing I mentioned. You see most of the times I have a drone in pocket and the info I get is from the first drone I either had pre-placed or through the drone. On defense I play solace usually but mute mozzy works pretty well as well. However don't forget you can use operators like Echo, Valkyrie, Legion to even have more info so make sure to abuse them in rank anytime you can. Moving on to my next tip and this is something I have talked about before. Get a lot of kills. You can be the one dying to a spawn kill or just the first one to die. Completely the opposite. Get the first 2-3 kills and then still try to stay alive. Don't sit on roof or in spawn getting impactless kills. No that doesn't help. See where they are holding, what area they are playing mostly and get those skills cause then you can open up the way for your teammates and yourself to push up further. When I get the kill on the main lobby guy that means the whole lobby area is now mine and I can take it. Which makes pushing bathroom easier and then second kill happens. We're playing, I'm gonna stand, stand on the bathroom door. Right, 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 right. My kitchen, my kitchen, 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 kitchen. Nice. Alright, next important part of solo queue, find the entry. Sometimes you see the enemy team is just all over the place and you have a hard time getting into map. Well, there are some few spots that they can enter the map and make your way to site. You just have to find it. In the beginning of the round, I check to see if there's a barbed wire on the main stairs and there's none. My team is pushing master side and that's good for me. The defenders are distracted to those guys because of the sound and gunshots. And no one is below or study side to hold me, except this guy on the hole which I droned him. So my point is, if you can't open the bridge and you're just stuck, go somewhere else fast. Don't waste time. If you want to clear roamers and you see there are three guys holding that side, then leave it. Push side pass. Get the kills on site and then hold the flanks. Refragging is another tip especially to you solo queue players. Instead of baiting your teammates, refrag them. Play close to them. Always pay attention to where they are playing. If you're one of those guys that sit on site and complain about your teammates roaming all the time and dying, well why not just play off them so you can bring back the man advantage. Just make sure you're not lining up with them. Stay a bit back and on the other angle so the enemy has to flick you basically and doesn't have the time to react for the second swing. No, go outside. Yeah, should be. No, no, oh, yeah. he's in the box, in the box, in the box. Nice. Shit. What else to higher up your chance of winning? Well, play the ops that are needed, but not always. If you need a hard bridge to open up the wall, then bring ace or termite. At the end of the day, if you can't open the wall, you can just push from somewhere else and shoot them without opening the wall. When I solo queue, based on the map, the site, and the enemy playstyle, I choose my operator. So for top floor cafe, I bring bug to open up hatches and to also open piano wall with my secondary beach gadget. On chalet basement attack, I play Zofia so I can burn ADSs and destroy a zombie Kiba barriers because that's how people play these days. But imagine I pick an operator like Ash on cafe and Omaru on chalet well there's no use for that and we probably lose the round or number seven clutch more rounds you already expect to lose your solo queue matches so why not just expect 1v5s every round sometimes it's only 1v2 and to be honest if you don't clutch these situations in gold plat emerald even diamond then you just have to accept you're not a good player i don't know if you have watched my gameplay highlights but i'm clutching a lot of rounds which leads to higher win rate and kd here are some tips on how to clutch more in siege first of all don't panic Start thinking about your positioning and what you want to do next. Go for the unexpected plays, something that the enemy is not expecting so you can surprise them. Don't make sound cause that's just free info for them. Check for drones around you and react quick. Oh 
Okay. You want this? The diffuser has been secured. Hmm. Rotation. Join through the drone hole, first drone, through the drone hole. Nice. You got one out four. This one's gonna die. One friendly remaining. Throw it in. Nice. Still there, still there, on the window, still there, standing. He moved, he moved. Default camera. We cannot see the hallway, brother. You got this. Right side, right side. Have a cam. Right side still, not in, 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 running. Nice, yeah. And for the last tip of this video, work more on your gun skill and movement. Listen, your teammates or the map is not why you're stuck in bronze, gold, or plat. You are the reason. Make a change now. Practice more in T hunts. Improve your movement with practices that I showed you in my videos. And record your gameplay. Clip it and watch it back. See why you died. Was it because you were too exposed holding the angle? Was it because your tracking was awful? Well, at least now you know what was it, so get back to rank. I've said it before, solo queue is a place to improve your skills, you and you only. With all the tips that I gave you, if you miss your shots and expose yourself to the angles, then there's nothing more to talk about. Change your mindset from today and start getting better every time you lose a gunfight. All I'm saying is, if you want to actually rank up, you have to be better than your enemies. Yes, sometimes that might not be enough, but you have to make sure you did everything you could. I have like a little bit. Guys, we trouble. Oh, yeah, 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 for the fuck all of you. Okay, one on you, hey, one there on you, one guy on me. Last on me. On that one, on the bell, on the bell. You can push me, you can push me. Wait, I'm holding. Uh, go, 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 and that's it for today's video. Hope this video was useful and helpful to you and you can actually implement these tips to your own gameplay. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you all in the next video.